question is from I Hate Matt Vincent. Is it true that if you don't use it, you lose it? Yeah. I think no. he, was, he was trying to be funny here, but it's true. It's a, this no. is one of the oldest lines in the fitness industry, isn't it? Well, didn't, oh, I, yeah. didn't I bring this up on the, one of the most recent episodes where I kind of freaked out when I jumped out of my truck? Did, oh, I, yeah. did I bring that up on the show? Yeah. Did I talk about it on the show or was I just talking to you guys? I can't remember. No, you brought it up. Yeah, because yeah, and that's a perfect example of, um, you know, it had just been a while since I had done any jump boxes or anything like that. And just out of habit, uh, being in the back of a lifted pickup truck and then jumping out, it's, you know, it seemed like no big deal to me. But when I landed, boy, it felt mm-hmm. way different than it had felt the last time I had done that. And I know that's because I haven't done it. I haven't trained that. So my body didn't absorb uh, the asphalt when I when I dropped down. I I was in a more stiff position and it, I, boy, it let me know all the way up my knees and my back when I did it. And I went, oh shit. And that was a an awakening for me that you know, it, this happens at one point in our lives where we just stop doing th- certain things and we lose the ability. Yeah. yeah, and that's just to make us more efficient and effective with our energy and what we're doing. Like our body just recognizes what our biggest, you know, patterns are every day and, and you know, how to allocate those resources in that direction. And so it's like it, it's this pruning system it has already like okay so if we're not doing this let's go ahead and shuttle that you know attention in this direction because you're doing this more frequently yeah your your body is always trying to get just as good as it needs to get it's never going to try to aim to exceed what it believes to be the the bare minimums and how does it determine the bare minimums well off of your activity and the signals uh, that you send your body now why right why won't your body get stronger than the bare minimum that it thinks it needs, or why won't it get the ag- more agility than the bare minimum that it thinks it needs? Because all of those require energy, just like Justin said. And our bodies evolved for the most part uh, during you know long for most of human history. Uh, energy was hard to come by; it was scarce. It made no sense. If your body became inefficient, you starved. It made no sense whatsoever. So, your body is not going to be good at jumping if you don't jump. If you don't ever jump. You lose that ability. Your body's like, we don't need this. We don't need this skill. Let's get rid of this and become more efficient. If you don't run, you'll lose that skill. If you don't ride your bike, you'll lose that skill. If you don't lift weights, you start to lose strength. This is true for any anything at all, even your, your ability to handle stress, to deal. You know, it's funny. I grew up in a, a loud house. It was relatively chaotic um, at, at times, a, you know, big family loud, you know, you know, stereotypical Italian people. And I, you know, growing up, it was like, it was just, just what, the way I live. It's not a big deal. Like, you know, if I needed to do homework or do something or whatever, it didn't bother me. I didn't even notice it. Moved out. Um, and then I lived in a quiet environment, lived by myself for a long time. Then I'd go home and I'd be like, I can't handle all this, <laughs> ah, this noise all of a sudden. Yeah. It's just, it's just like anything else. Your ability to handle temperature. Um, absolutely. So if you want to maintain abilities, you have to practice them. There's absolutely nothing, and this is this is what this is a very important lesson for people. It's like, oftentimes we do the stuff that's needed to get us better, but then we forget that whatever we did to get there is what we need to do to stay there. Mm-hmm. It doesn't stay. Your body never stays. It only adapts. And so you want this. And when we first, you know, this this is one of the oldest fitness sayings. It's been around forever. It became a parody for a long time. You don't use it, you lose it. You know. Yeah. I think it's been around since the maybe the 70s and 80s, but it, there's, it's almost the most true famous fitness saying. I can't think of one. No pain, no gain is the other one. That one's – a lot of that's false. Mm-hmm. But you, you you don't use it, you lose it. Totally true. And you could take this to the extreme. You could literally uh, put your leg in a cast. N- don't use it and you know do that for a year and watch what your body does to your leg. It starts to get rid of it. Yeah. It's crazy. So absolutely, if you want something – you got to you got to maintain it and you got to maintain that practice otherwise your body will just get rid of it 